Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome again to our advanced training class. Hopefully, your week has been great. If not, we definitely hope to capitalize on that for you here today. Now, if you make your way in today, go ahead and like this video, share this video, and also comment, tag a few names in the comment section. Let some people know about this awesome opportunity that we have available. Now, guys, get your weights, get your perks, whatever it is that you're going to be using today. We will be using some dumbbells on our end, so if you have those, get them available. Or use the next best thing, some jugs of water, some laundry detergent, anything you can get your hands on to add a little bit of uh, resistance to these exercises today. So I'm going to give you guys about another minute or two here to get set up. Like this video, share this video, comment a few friends and family members' names in the comment section. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing jump started here in about another minute or so. So guys, welcome in. Hope you're ready to have an awesome time. I'm Nate Reynolds, and I'm ready to kick your butt today. Similar, we're going to get down so as you stay in that same similar form with the stance, 
knees slightly bent, gonna hinge those hips out, taking the hands to the floor, thrusting through the hips, trying to touch the top of those knees on up to the mat, keeping the chest high, and then pulling back through those hips, keeping a stiff legged position, coming back to a full stand. So unlike a burpee where you squat down and jump those legs out, again, like the good morning, I want you to hinge through, hands to the floor, thrust through the hips, and then power back through the hips as you make your way back to the top. Six push-ups, 15 good mornings, and five get downs. Now we got three rounds here. As you know, this is our advanced class, so we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Work up a good sweat here before we give you a slight break going into our main circuit for this evening's class. Guys, I said enough. You've seen it. Now let's get this thing started. Six push-ups here to get this thing kicked off with. Push-up plank position. Hands are spread. Leading with the chest. Breathing in on the way down. Breathe out as you power back to the top. And we are off. Six. All right, remember, this is just our warm-up. So if a full layout is enough, is a little bit much for you already, use those knees, elevate those hands, save that energy for that main circuit. You're going to need it. Next up, hands behind the head, slight bend in the knee, feet are about shoulder width apart. We're going good mornings. Again, maintain that slight bend, drive those hips backwards, keeping that spine flat and that head neutral. And we are off. There's five. Good job. Five more, please. Five. All right, last but not least here, keep downs. So, guys, thrusting through those hips, keeping those eyes forward, chest is high. So, ready? Alright, ready and go. Excellent. Guys, really pop those hips and then pull back through create as much force as you can to pull your body from the floor. Try not to bend any additional loss at the knee. One down, two to go. Get right back into six more push-ups. Round two here. Guys, continue to lean with that chest. Take those deep breaths in. Let that oxygen get in those lungs. Help yourself out with that cardiovascular system. Ready? And six more. Breathe, breathe, don't hold that breath in, don't strain, let that oxygen flow through your system. 15 good mornings here, and go. Good, keep that chin up. So good. 
Last 15 good mornings. Again, chin up, chest high, through the hip. Let your hips do the work here and don't let that weight get out away from you. 
What I mean by that is when you come down, those weights should pull away. Once they do, you will see it is going to be natural for your shoulders to want to fall forward and round at the spine, taking pressure off the glutes and hamstrings and putting more in the center of your back, which is exactly what we don't want to do. So 12 deadlifts, dumbbells inside, knee side you bend, keeping those eyes up, chest forward. Next up, renegade push-ups here, six reps. Now, all these movements together is going to be one repetition. So just like with our um, push-ups, push-up plank position, now your hands are going to be on those weights if they can be. If you don't have dumbbells, you got to get a little bit more creative with it. But don't worry, I know you can do it. So push-up plank position, feet spread apart as much as you need. We're going to do a renegade row on each arm. And then finish that off with a push-up at the bottom. All right, leaning with the chest, body remains parallel, leading, uh, body remains parallel, and also keeping those arms inside so when you pull up with those dumbbells, you're not pulling out away from the body, but you're pulling inside almost to the point where you can feel the inner part of your arm skimming against the side of your body. So all three of those motions is one rep. So row, row, push up is one, six total. Next up, dumbbell front squats. Going up to a full standing position, we're going to bring those dumbbells up to the shoulders, elbows up high, shoulder width stance, and maintaining that position, keeping the core real tight, now that you got additional weight up top, it's going to want to cause you to tilt forward. It's going to be incumbent upon you to control that weight and keep everything going focused on your posterior side as you push those hips down into that seated motion, pushing through the heels, making sure the knees does not exceed past the toes. Breathing in on the way down, breathe out as you power back up to the top. We got 12 repetitions there as well. And last but not least, one dumbbell only, going one arm at a time here. We're going to do a kneeling overhead press. So opposite arm and leg, back knee is going to be resting to the floor. Opposite hand on the hip, or you can put it out there to the side for balance. And from there, you're just going to push up, breathing out, keeping a nice, solid, sturdy core. No arc in the lower back, and we're going eight reps each, then switching over arm and leg, all right? So, 10 curling presses, 12 dumbbell deadlifts, six renegade row push-ups, one row, row, push-up is one rep, dumbbell front squats for 12, and as you just saw there to finish up, eight and eight kneeling overhead press, opposite arm and leg. Guys, we got three rounds with all of these. Let's go ahead and bang this thing out, put it behind us, and move over to that final portion of this Thursday's workout. Woo, guys, that is a lot. So we gotta get to work here. We're gonna start with those curl and presses. We have 10 reps of each here. So grab your weights, whatever you're using for resistance, get in position. Um, forward, and let's do it. All right, breathe in on the way up. Breathe out as you take those dumbbells overhead. Park in the lower back, halfway. Remember, keep those arms inside. Don't get away from the body. Keep everything nice, tight, and tucked in. Good, breathe. All right, next up here, going into those 12 deadlifts. Remember, as you come down, don't let those dumbbells go away from the body. Keep those arms pushed in. That way it helps you keep that spine flat and allows you to engage and focus on that posterior side of the body. 12 reps here. Ready? And go.
Excellent job. Wait to let it flow. Almost done here with round one. Next step, going back to the legs. Keep in mind, too, you done did it. Three movements already with the dumbbell. Going right into a fourth. So just holding that position, you will feel a lot of burn in the shoulders. Fight through it. Keep those elbows high. Don't let them fall down. 12 dumbbell deadlifts or dumbbell front squats. And go.
Ready to get push up, six reps. All three motions are one. Hips are parallel to the floor. Separate those feet if you need to to keep from turning and swaying those hips side to side. Row, row, and push up. And go. <laughs> Push 
push-ups, last six. like it's your biggest struggle, reshape your thinking and know this is going to be the one you're going to conquer the most. This is the one you want to do the most so that you can see the most improvement in making your gains. Last six.
heart rate down. No worries, but we are going to jump into the demonstrations for the core, so at least listen up and pay attention here. All right, guys, quick one for you here. We got some single leg toe touches to start. 12 breaks each side, so we're going to get flat on our back. We're going to go one leg up at a time as we keep the other leg flat, bringing that up opposite leg up as high as you can. With that leg up, we want to use our opposite hand. So if you got that right leg up, your left hand is going to be your toe, your uh, reacher. As you reach up 12 times, touching that toe, maintaining that straight-legged position and that high-legged position on that leg that's elevated. Once you complete that 12, go ahead and switch legs. Uh, opposite leg going down, other leg coming up, and 12 more on the other side. Next up, land flat down. We want into 12 drag, I mean 10 dragonflies. So body is going to be laid flat, legs straight out. You're going to crunch those knees in and then use that momentum from that crunch to hike those hips off the floor as high as you can. If you can do so, keep those legs elevated throughout, never letting them touch the floor in between each rest. So knees coming in, hips coming up off the ground. Last but not least, right and left side V-ups. 10 reps each for a total of 20. As you get onto your side, Try to position yourself more on your glute versus definitely versus being specifically on that hip bone there. That way you can get proper leverage and range and actually implement those core, those oblique muscles in your core. So coming up as high as you can, toes pointing away, legs straight, and repeating for 10 straight reps before switching over and doing just the same thing on the opposite side. So single leg toe touches, 12 reps each. Dragon flies, 10 reps. Right and left side V-ups. 10 reps each. All right, guys, three rounds. Let's finish this thing out just the way we started on a very, very strong note. All right, guys, you heard it. We have those single leg toe touches, 12 on each, opposite arm and leg. So go ahead and look, bring that left leg up, right hands working in three, two, one. 12 reps, really get up as high as you can.
enjoying my abs and playing pinball on my stomach. Shoot.
like we did with our kneeling overhead presses. Then you start off with a quad and hip flexor stretch. So as you get in that position, still keep from having that knee exceeding past the toe. As you push forward, feeling that stretch from the hip all the way down to around the top of that knee or bottom of your quad, however you like to consider. Also maintain that upright position. Try not to tilt and lean forward. Everything nice and straight. Going in four, three, two, and let's switch. Good job there. Right leg forward, left leg back, and push. All right, guys, remember, if you haven't already, make sure to love, share, and tag two people to watch this replay that you think would benefit from tonight's workout. And if you're looking for more content like this, guys, hit up the description and use the discount code Seven Day Trial for our virtual training club link. All right, going back to that left leg forward. Now that leg is going to be straight, heel down, toe up, and maintain that upright position. Try not to sit back on your hips. Go ahead and bend down forward, trying to touch the floor. Feeling that stretch now on the back side of that leg. All right, five, four, three, two, and good. Switch it up. Left leg back, right leg forward, heel down, toe up, and reach out.
five, four, three, two, game, good. Excellent job there. Go ahead and give a few twists there with the core as you sit straight. About ten times. Now let's cross that left arm underneath the chin, pull behind the elbow.